The Kelloland on the road crew has been at it again in the last month, driving nearly 400 miles to bring Kelloland viewers three stories that might not otherwise be told. And the man behind the wheel is making a pit stop on our couch today to give us another behind the scenes peek at the stories he'll be bringing us in tonight's Kelloland on the road show. Welcome, Mike Heather. Brittany, it's, first of all, it's good to be with you. We've not done this before, so I'm I really know. enjoying it. Thank I'm you. excited. Thank you. But first, I just want to ask you how you decided to do this month's stories. Uh, two of them are where I just went into town cold and found the stories on my own. Uh, but then one uh, was given to me by a Kelland viewer, Harriet Sibbinsma, in in uh, Platt. And, and so, yeah, most of the time I just go to try to just find the stories on my own. But right now I'm getting more and more referrals because so many people are watching our show. And this is the third episode, so what have you learned so far in the first three episodes? Well, first of all, people are hungry for these stories. They want positive, uplifting, inspiring uh, stories about life, and Kelland is bringing those to, to TV. Uh, I think the number one thing that, uh, that I'm finding is that these small towns, these communities all across Kelland, they're very thankful that we're in their town, that we're finding these stories, that we're bringing good things to, to television. So coming up first on the show tonight, we stopped at Winter, South Dakota. So tell us about the story here. Well, first of all, Winter is a town that's doing well, and they're very, very proud of what's going on there. But to make a long story short, there's a man who made an impact on Winter while he was alive and then actually after he passed away. The Pix Theater on Main Street in Winter, it is not only busy on the weekends, it's every night of the year. They do something special. And even though this gentleman's passed away, they're keeping his legacy going strong. You won't want to miss this one. I'm excited to hear about it. So how did you run into this idea? Uh, I went into town, uh, started talking to all the good folks there, including the mayor. Uh, and all of a sudden, we started talking about the positive things going on. They told me the story about the Pix Theater and how the community came together to keep it going. And uh, this is a really, really fun story, but it's really a kind of a, a lesson learned, too, in terms of how communities can rally together to keep good things going, to ensure good quality of life in any town is possible. They're doing it in winter, and you can do it in your Kelland town, too. And then the next stop was Platt. Yes. Um, Harriet Sibisma uh, from Platt sent me an email and said, Mike, I think you should come to our town. We've got something special going on here. And what they do on Wednesday nights is that they celebrate their youth in a very, very special way. Their junior high youth, their senior high youth, they get together on Wednesday nights in churches. And regardless of the denomination, regardless of the faith, they're all coming together to celebrate community, uh, to celebrate their youth and to make great things happen. And it's a really special story. You won't want to miss it. So how big of an impact has this made for their community? Well, not only uh, for their community now, but for the generations of young people that have gone through this uh, Wednesday night youth program. And that's part of the storyline, is that if you invest in your youth now, you're going to get a return on your investment right now, but also long after they leave. And in some of these cases, these people have actually come back to Platt to make an, a wonderful difference. And you actually talked to some of the individuals <laughs> involved with this? Yeah. Uh, not only the, uh, the young people that are enjoying it, but also uh, I talked to Harriet as well as one of the youth instructors. And they really, really are proud of what they're doing. And, Kellen, here's a little scoop. If you watch tonight, they actually want you to contact them in, in their great town, and they'll give you the recipe of success so you can do it in your town, too. Wow. Okay, so taking us to the third story in tonight's episode, and that is in Press Show. All right, Kelland viewers, here you go. <laughs> Make sure you have at least a tissue or two handy oh. for this one. <clears throat> it's powerful. I went to Press Show, not knowing what I was going to find, and um, all of a sudden I walked into Hutch's Cafe, and there was a young boy sitting on the counter there, um, and he kind of welcomed me like he was the mayor of Press Show. And then I got to know his study, his story. Um, and I don't want to give it all away to you, but um, if you watch it, you'll be so impressed not only by Gavin Bennett, but by his wonderful mom, who has uh, been part of this journey uh, as well. And um, it's going to make you laugh. 
Uh, it's going to make you cry a little bit, but my gosh, it's going to inspire you. And that's why we're doing this stuff on Kel Land. We want to make people feel good about life, to not let things get you down, to learn how to pull yourself back up from the bootstraps and really make a difference. And this 10-year-old boy, he's going to do it for you. Just watch tonight's show. I'm really excited to see tonight's episode. But <laughs> Thank you. Mike, I just want to ask you what your favorite part is about being on the road and going to these different communities to share their stories. Well, I think the head of Kel Land uh, said it best when he said, um, I like people. And I can't get enough of them. And when I'm on the road with, uh, with Taylor Yoakum, we're going into these towns. We just love these people. They're thankful that we're in their town. We're finding these stories. The people are so welcoming, so overwhelmingly positive. And then when we can bring some of these stories into life and then have people all over Kelland call and write and email and say, keep it going, keep it going. Are you kidding me? That is just such a wonderful uh, way to keep me going. Uh, and I'm just so thankful for the partnership that Kel Land's provided. And uh, again, folks, if you've not seen our show, you got to watch it tonight. Because you watch it once, you will be hooked. Could be an every night episode, don't you think? <laughs> um, that's one thing I've learned. Yeah. This is not easy. Uh, folks, as you're watching TV, if you think this is an easy gig, you're far from it. It is really a lot of work, but it's really some of the most rewarding yep. work I've ever done. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for Thanks coming for in today. And thank you. Let's do this again. Yes. Let's. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. You don't want to miss tonight's episode of Kelloland on the Road on your Kelloland stations at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time this Tuesday after Kelloland News at 6. Follow along as Mike takes you to Winter, Platte, and Presho, South Dakota to introduce you to some of Kelloland's most inspirational people. And do you know a story that needs to be told? Simply message Kelloland on the Road through the webpage on Kelloland.com. You'll find it under the Community tab on our website. Simply give us your name, email, address, phone number, and tell us a little bit about the story you think we should share with our viewers. And you just might see the Kelloland on the Road Subaru Outback rolling through your hometown.